This is the most amazing place since I've always wanted to come here. But in Moscow and Russia, which is brilliant. This is the Kremlin. It was built by Roman Polanski and uh, Rasputin with their bare hands. It's a frightening thing. And Polanski was the first guy to, to build a Greggs of Bakers, a Russian Greggs of Bakers. And they do wee pasties. It's just over there. And it, it takes a normal Russian working family eight weeks to afford a Greg softy with prawns, which is frightening. It's a frightening day for us all. And there's R.S. McCall's, which is Russian for KGB. The man's a fucking nutter, they're evil bastards, the KGB. Only four weeks ago you couldn't come here because of you'd have got your head fucking cut off in Russia. They're all fucking nutters. Up here, this is frightening. This is the, this is the Russian... It's called the Russian Pole, and it was dedicated to Trotsky, the man who played for the Russian football team and scored 31 goals against Billie Jean King, the black guy. It's an amazing thing. This is amazing. And the famous Russian driver, uh, Grand Prix driver, uh, Klingklov, my Klingklov, brilliant fellow, <laughs> came driving through here one day, smashed his head against there and died. So people forget things like that. And there's the Russian tour. It's an open top bus and they take you around places. It's uh, Stalin drove that back in 1946 with the guy from on the buses, Reg Varney, and they had a fight, and Varney says, fuck you and your Russian politics. He was a bit of a Marxist, a lovely man. That statue over there is my favourite one. That's uh, the man who wrote War and Peace, Bernard Cribbins, otherwise known as Tolstoy. Frightening fellow. It's very, very good. Uh, people aren't allowed to walk here between five and seven at night in case they get their cunt battered in, which is brilliant. It's a thing that they do in Russia. This is now 12 o'clock and it's the sunniest day of the year. As you can see, it's pushing down. It's a brilliant day for me all. I'll check, there's a place over there called the Counting House. And that's where the that's that's where all the Russians go. And they wear Cossack hats and do silly dances and talk about how things were better when they didn't have any money. And they don't like it now. It's amazing.